performed this in Antwerp, we performed this in Berlin, and I think we created our own universe with this. Okay. And I don't even know what the weather is outside. I don't even know I'm in Sevilla. I mean, we, we live here in the backstage, uh, on stage. We leave this performance on stage. It's our own festivity. But we are so immersed into the performance. I don't really relate to the city we are in because this becomes our universe. We are, we're gonna be here for two days working and we're gonna perform for 24 hours, the next day we leave. It takes us 24 hours to do it because uh, it's, uh, it's a process of very strong involvement, physical and so what happened is that uh, during the 24 hours something is growing and we are putting layers on layers on layers until a very big fireworks at the end. And the audience is feeling, is feeling uh, and is really living this physical experience with us. And so the catharsis it's, of course, it is on stage. We are in the States, or we are bec becoming something else. But the audience as well. And really, at the end of the 24 hours, that you will see uh, when we will do the show, really something is happening. The, the people are transformed. There is a before Mount Olympus and after Mount Olympus. The piece is a, it's a way of transforming myself and the audience. I have my personal character, which is the, the snake, the snake demon, uh, which is reappearing a lot in different mythologies, but also in the uh, Greek mythology. It symbolizes this constant mutation and dying and rebirth and this energy underneath the earth, like actually Dionysiac energy for me and I also as a dancer I represent it but I also try to I, I awaken it in the audience a kind of that instinct or energy primordial they get rid of all the rules of society or whatever they don't think they are in the theater anymore they just experience and they feel this energy again it's a very important energy and sometimes we tend to see it as something like that doesn't belong to our society anymore or well, it's far away or even negative. But I think it's just part of us and it's good to re-embrace it and that's how you actually achieve the catharsis. It's a 24 hour performance. So the time is something very important, but you have many so kinds of time. You have the time, the chronos, the time of the minute of... You have the time of the season, the biologic time. He, he works with four generations on display. And you have also a kind of inside time. And in some thing for me, in some moments in the performance, those times connect together. We have this time that's spread out. So the, the action, it's, it's a kind of real time because and today you, you, you write a text to a, a mail and it comes at the same moment that you, you write it. So the time is like disconnected. We don't have this, this idea of distance anymore and distance of time. And I think that in a way for Jan it's a kind of statement to say I'm going to do 24 hours. Of course today they, you would you have to do play for short time because time is money and he doesn't want to go there. So he just fight again. And I think it's a very generous, I think this is very generous from him.